It's important to shine a light on the issue of spiritual abuse, to understand what it truly means, and to support those who have experienced it. Spiritual abuse is the manipulation and misuse of spiritual power and beliefs. It can occur within any religious or spiritual community. Victims of spiritual abuse often feel trapped, isolated and afraid to question or leave their faith community. The psychological damage can be long-lasting, leading to anxiety, depression, and a loss of trust in oneself and others. Spiritual abuse is a form of abuse that occurs when an individual or group misuses or manipulates religious or spiritual beliefs and practices to control, manipulate, or harm others. It can occur within various religious or spiritual contexts and can take on different forms, but the underlying theme is the misuse of power and authority for harmful purposes, causing profound harm to individuals' mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. This abuse can take many forms, emotional, psychological, and even physical. It may involve control, intimidation, and coercion, all under the guise of spirituality. Some key characteristics of spiritual abuse include manipulation and control. Perpetrators may use religious teachings, doctrines, or beliefs to manipulate and control individuals, often to gain power and obedience. Isolation. Victims may be isolated from friends and family, making it difficult for them to seek help or support from outside the abusive environment. Guilt and shame. Perpetrators may use religious guilt and shame to keep individuals compliant or to make them feel worthless and sinful. Exploitation. This may involve financial exploitation, sexual exploitation, or the misuse of authority for personal gain within a religious or spiritual setting. Threats and fear. Victims may be threatened with divine punishment or harm to themselves or their loved ones if they do not comply with the abuser's demands. Forced spiritual practices. Individuals may be forced to engage in specific religious practices or rituals against their will. Spiritual manipulation. Perpetrators may claim to have unique spiritual insights or authority, using this to manipulate and control others. It's important to note that not all religious or spiritual groups engage in spiritual abuse. Many religious organizations promote positive values and support the well-being of their members. Spiritual abuse is a violation of trust and an exploitation of faith for harmful purposes, and it can have serious emotional, psychological, and even physical consequences for those who experience it. If you believe you or someone you know is experiencing spiritual abuse, Seeking help and support from a trusted source or professional is crucial. The good news is that there is hope. Support groups, therapy and counseling can provide the healing and validation survivors need. It's crucial to create safe spaces where victims can share their stories and find strength and resilience. Education and awareness are key in preventing spiritual abuse and supporting survivors. By understanding the signs and speaking out against these harmful practices, we can create a world where everyone's spiritual journey is respected and valued. Let's come together, free from spiritual abuse, and foster environments of love, acceptance, and genuine spirituality. Thank you for taking the time to learn about spiritual abuse and its devastating effects. If you found this video helpful, then why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Living Well Insights, for more insightful content. Together, we can make a difference.